Who's that? <laughs> Whoever that is, how you doing? Hello, hello. Who is that? Anyone gonna comment? Oh, it's Veronica, how you doing? Anyone else in here? There's two people. It's nice to see you. Yeah, I've been off for a little while. Um, things are good. Things are good. I just want to start getting back into the readings through Facebook. So I have been doing readings, but not on Facebook. So I'm going to start getting back on, into it. So how's everyone doing? Can you write to say hello? Because I cannot see who it is. I hope you're well. Whoever's here. Oh, May. How you doing, May? I'm not sure if everyone, anyone's seen me do this before. I don't know whether May has. I know Veronica has. Is there anyone else here? There's four people here. Anyone else going to say hi? Or oh, you're not going to say anything? How's everyone doing? You all right? There's four people and only two people have said hello, so very strange. And this is a lag. Oh, Deborah, hi, how you doing? See if, it, uh, do you know what? I'm gonna take my time tonight. <laughs> Um, I'm going to take my time tonight, see where it goes really, I'm not going to rush into things, if I get, get a connection with you, doing great, how have you been? Yeah, good, good, yeah, things are good. May, it's for the first time, yeah, okay, just, just come, just come here with, um, just don't, don't come with an opinion or a belief, just be open to it, if I receive a message for you, how you doing Ange? Um, if I if I get a message for you or receive a message, just be open to it. Don't judge. Don't. Oh, I don't believe in it. Just go with it. If I pick something for you, just go with it. How is everyone? Anyone gonna say hi? <clears throat> Rich, how you doing? How's the old uh, meditation and that guy? Are you doing still doing it or how's everyone doing? There's eight people in here so far. Stick around and you might receive a reading. How is everyone? Who's in here tonight? Who's in here? Deborah? Oh. Who's in here? Like and share it if you can, guys. Well, I don't know whether you can like it, but you share it out. <coughs> couple of people have left is what it is we're working on it been a little crazy as of late yeah we all have if I'm honest Judy Judy Franz hi how you doing welcome to everyone yeah we'll share out one let's share out see where it can go I'm not I'm not looking for big crowds I just I'm gonna start doing some readings in a bit and you're all gonna love well fingers fingers crossed you're going to receive a nice message from your loved ones. And it's going to be a relaxed time. I'm not pushing it. Yeah, I'm back, Rich. I'm back. I'm going to start doing it nicely. Just changing. Not taking life so seriously. I took it very seriously last time. And it, yeah, didn't help me. So... What's happening? Is everyone okay? People coming in and leaving. <laughs> Who would like a reading? Would anybody like a reading? Would anybody like a reading? There might be a little lag on here. I'm not seeing the messages, but that's fine. Um, if you would like a reading, please share this out. 
um, share it out and just put your name up who would like a reading Veronica would like one <clears throat> if you would like a reading just share it out and Deborah would like one okay okay yeah I'm gonna do what I'm who I'm drawn to more than anything um if you would like to become live with me um you're more than welcome to come live so we can see each other face to face it's normally a better reading that way all right and thanks darling um yeah would anyone like to come live with me if I'm honest, I'm really, really super drawn to Deborah. Deborah Branch Adams. Not so much drawn, but I just really feel... I don't know. Maybe she needs a reading. I'm not too sure. If you'd like to come live, little live icon isn't appearing this time for some reason. Oh, well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start reading anyway. Um, I'm not really too faced about the crowd. That's, I'm quite happy just doing what I'm doing. And then the recording would just show itself, wouldn't it? Um, and then we'll see where we're going. But I'm going to read Deborah first, if I'm honest. Deborah Branch Adams. If you can just... Um, where is she? Pin this comment. Deborah Branch, how, how do I go live for it? I'm going to try and add you if I can, Deborah. Uh, no, it doesn't allow you to. Okay. Um, Deborah Branch Adams. I'm not too sure how you would go live. Yes, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So let me try and tune in to you, Deborah. Um, I'm just, just give me a minute and let's see who's around you. Um, I hope everyone's well anyway. Um, I'm taking my time, so... Michelle, how you doing? Uh, Deborah Branch Adams. Deborah Branch Adams. Okay, Deborah. So, I'm not asking for a reply because it takes too long. Michelle, hi. Um, I'm not asking for a reply because it takes too long. What I am going to do is I'm going to give you everything that the spirit... I'm connected to, to, a, to a spirit that's around me at the moment for you, Deborah. And it's a male energy. And I'm going to... There's a female here too. But what I am going to do is I'm going to relay it to you. And then at the end, feel free to say you was happy with it or not. I can't help it if you can't or you can. But I'm going to explain a little bit to you and then we'll go from there. Right? <clears throat> so <clears throat> I connect directly with the spirit they come to me your loved ones to say if I say I'm going to tune into Deborah I'll then put the intention out there and your loved ones will then come to me so they are going to give me validations of who they are who you are who you may know friends families names dates numbers etc things that are happening in your life validations that's what hey Chelsea um, that's what they give me right and so if you say to me, can you help me find my keys? You're taking the mic. I'm not, I'm not going to help. The spirit are not about that. I'm good, thank you. Um, they're, they're not about that. They're, they're about validations to prove they're existing. Um, and so what I am connected to, I'm connected to an older man. <clears throat> I'm connected to an older man. I'm not asking you to reply, Deborah. Just at the end, just say whether you were happy with it or not. OK, just please, when I do give you these stu this stuff, if I give you names, it might be people that are still living. They're just little, they, they give me little bits of information. And then we have to snip it together like a little puzzle. So if they say the name Dave, for argument's sake, and you say, I haven't got a Dave that's passed, but it could be your uncle or someone that's living. Do you get what I'm saying? So you have to just be mindful of that. So it's just little things we need to work out together. So I'm aware of a male, older male that's 
coming stepping forward for you, Deborah. There is also a lady that's present, but she's not really communicating with me. It's the older man that's present, who's really, really, and I'm really cold, so I know this man's for you. Um, there was some breathing issues with this man. He's nodding. Some breathing issues and some weight issues too. This man lost a lot of weight. This is what he's talking about. I, I, it might be a case where he struggled eat, eating at one point or, food, or he wasn't accepting food at one point because I'd see a lot of weight falling off of him like he was a bag of bones, like he lost a lot of weight. Um, and he's nodding, he's making me aware of that. So he's an older generation, so it might have been your father or your grandfather, okay? Your father or your grandfather. But he's making me aware of dad's side of the family. This is what he's making me aware of. So this would be father or grandfather. He's making me aware of the breathing issues, like... <gasps> So I don't know whether he was a heavy smoker or he had respiratory problems, right? Lung issues, eating, this, the eating issues could be the same with the lungs and, and, and everything. It could be. I'm not saying it is, but it could be. He's making me aware of the breathing issues and the food issues, losing a lot of weight. Um, he had a lot of problems with his bones. I don't know whether he had a, a condition like the, bittle, the where his bones were brittle. Um, there's some issues there with his bones. He seemed very weak. I don't know whether he could get up later on in life. I don't know whether he was bed bound. He's making me aware. I get that feeling with him. I see a lot of sorrow with him. He comes to me crying. Uh, he shows me a memory of him where he was crying. So I don't know whether there was, I don't know whether there was enough said, um, I don't know whether there was enough said or it might be the way he passed. I don't know whether he suffered, right? But he's making me aware of that. He's making me aware of that. Um, I'm also getting the month June. June. Or, or June could be a name, right, Deborah? June. He told me June. So it could be a name or the month June has, has a meaning, a relevance to you or someone around you like it could be someone's birthday could be his the day he passed the month he passed also the number 10 so the like the 10th of a month or the 10th month 10 has a meaning also uh no yeah 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 10th temp, the 10th 10 number 10 has a meaning also he talks of the two boys and the one girl so I don't know where that is. So are you, the, are you, have you got two brothers or have you got two sons and a daughter? Or did he have, he talks about the two sons and the daughter, or the two girls and the boy, the, the, the two boys and the girl. Yeah, the two sons and the daughter. Sorry, I was getting confused. He's making me aware of that. <clears throat> also, there's some sort of feud with the family. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's, it's the feud with the family. So I, I don't know whether some family members have fallen out right now or, or, or around that time when he was, when he had passed or when he was living, there was, and it's still gone on now. There's some, some issues with the family. And he's talking about the younger generation having the issues. This is what he's talking about. Um, I'm not going to go too long on because there are other people waiting, but I hope you can take this message. Um, he's telling me to be careful of who you speak with. This is his message, and he's clapping, so I know he's correct. Be careful with who you who you speak with or what you say. That's what he, his message to you, and he sends his love. Okay, he take he talks he talks about the bird, the birds or the the robin or or, or there's some sort of bird that always comes near you or pops by. He talks about that, and he's nodding. I'm going to leave his love with you, and I'm going to move on. So I hope I hope you can understand that and take that. Um, it's a shame you couldn't go live because we couldn't communicate a little bit better then. But yeah, the, the, whoever that is, he sends his love. Okay, thank you. So, how is everyone doing? How is everyone? I hope you're all well. Um, I'd love to be able to provide everyone with a message. It probably won't be the case, but... Um, yeah, who would like a message? Who would like to connect with their loved ones? Is 
is anyone going to message and say they would like a message or or at least write something in the messages what I am going to do or what I am not what I'm going to do but what the spirit are telling me is that there's a lot of people at the moment that are struggling um, there's a lot of people with a lot of doubt going on this is what the spirit are telling me and they're telling me that there's going to be a few doors opening for some people um, there's some doors opening be aware of the doors opening. People that had self-doubt, there's a lot of self-doubt going on, financial issues, well, there's some doors opening, the energy's changing, the vibrations are raising, the, 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 they're bringing a message to you guys. Some people it may resonate with, some people it might not, but they're making me aware that you need to be, at, be mindful also. Um, is anybody gonna message? Would anybody like a reading? I'm going to pull a card while people are just ignoring the fact that I'm speaking. And no one's messaging. I'm going to uh, pull a card. So. Okay. So I've pulled the card, the chariot. The chariot is things to come. This is the message they bring. Things to come. They're telling me don't close your eyes to the things that you see. Whoever this is for, don't close your eyes to the things that you see. Speak the truth. Stop hiding behind things. Speak your truth. This is the message for the chariot. Speak your truth. The truth is where it lies. This is what they're saying. The truth is where it lies. And there's a lot of people that will not speak the truth. And they'll always lie in their pity. And so they're saying, speak your truth and things will move forward for you. Is there anyone here that would like a message? How comes no one's speaking at all? Is there anyone, would anyone like a message? Or am I just, are people messaging and I'm just not seeing it? Is anyone there? <clears throat> Can anyone say hi to, so I know who's here, please? There's 17 people here and just no one's messaging. I've read one for one person. I find it strange. Because normally people are on it. <laughs> Jels, what's happening, girl? No one seems to want a message, do they? If anyone wants to message, or at least say hi, just write in the messages, man. I'm not sitting here for fun, just looking at the screen. Messages ain't coming up, are they? How is everyone doing? Is anyone going to message? Hey, what's happening? Does anyone want to speak? No? Or does people just like looking at me? <laughs> what are we doing, guys? Is anyone going to message? Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh. ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. You know what? My screen was froze. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. My screen was froze, and I scrolled down, and then fucking loads of people 
Message you. I'm so sorry. Right, let's go back. I was oblivious to it. Man, I was oblivious to it. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, I see ya. Unbelievable. All right, so um, let's go to the bottom. Okay, we're here, Michael. Darlene, how you doing? You all right, girl? Okay. Let's see who we got. Thank you, Darlene. Um, I will be back. We're going to be doing this every week now. Um, just seeing, guys, uh, who I can read. Amanda Lanaville. Can you go live, Amanda? Amanda Lanaville? No, she can't. Why don't you try and come live with me, Amanda? Amanda Lanaville. Back to the comments. I don't think you're seeing it, Michael. A lot of people are messaging. Yeah, you know, Chelsea, man. I'm, I don't know where I was. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> We're here. All right, Amanda Lanaville. Um, I'm going to tune into Amanda Lanaville. Um, and see what we have. Um, Amanda Lanaville. Okay, Amanda. Um, okay. Um, I'm aware... But okay, so I don't know whether you heard what I said to the last person um, about the reading. I hope you did. Um, they're just validations. Um, I I could pass your names and and etc. and and they doesn't mean that these person are, are, are past. It could be they're just ver validations of someone that's living, someone's past. So you've got to be mindful and be open to it. Okay. Um, I'm aware of a lady that's send request, please. Okay. Yeah, it does. Amanda, it do, it isn't coming up. I don't know why. We'll just read. I'll just read it off of here. Um, I'll just read it off of here. Um, I hope that when I give you the reading, just if you can take it, I'll be that's fine. If you can't, then I apologize, but just be open to what the messages I give you. Yeah, um, Amanda, I'm aware of a lady that's passed that's stepping forward for you, and I really, really feel I don't know, it's an older generation to you, and I really feel like it would be grandma. I get grand. I really, really feel grandma. I really, really, really feel that, and she's like a really. I, I, the, the she's a really bubbly character, Amanda, and she's like only a little lady. I really feel like it's grandma. I really feel like it's grandma, um, and she's like prancing around the kitchen, around the house. She's like a really bubbly character, Amanda. Um, and she's giving me the impression like that she was a really, really friendly, outgoing lady, would have helped anybody, um, would have gave you her last bit of money like she's really like that. That's the person that she's talking. She's, and I really feel like it's mum's side. I might be wrong. I might be a little bit off. Please bear with me. But I really feel like this is mum's mum's side of the family. Um, um, this lady is making me... Yes, that would be my grandma. Yeah. She's coming forward and she's like, what she's doing, I don't know whether she had problems with her knees or her legs, but she, she's making me aware that she's able to dance around um, 
she's showing me that she's dancing around and she's really, really happy. So there must have been some sort of issue with her feet or her ankles or her knees or walking or something because she's showing me and she's like really happy that she's dancing around the house, right? That's what she's showing me. Um, and she was quite happy in her own skin. She was quite happy as a person. That's what she's making me aware of, Amanda. Um, she's making me aware of the four children. So I don't know whether you're one of four, she had four, or there's four children somewhere that mean something, right? That's what she's making me aware of. Um, excuse me, the four children she's making me aware of. Um, and I'm not too sure, I'm not too sure if she, if she had left some items to somebody. And I'm not too sure if they went to that same person that she was hoping they went, they, they go to, or someone else took them. Do you understand that? There's something there with that. There were some items that were left. There were some items that were left. And I don't know whether they went to the same person that she was hoping they'd go to. That's what she's making me aware of. But she's saying it's irrelevant. She's saying it's irrelevant. Because what goes around comes around. That's what she's making me aware of. Um, I have four children. Okay. She's making me aware of the four children, right? She's making me aware of that. Um, she's She's talking about you doing a really good job. I don't know whether your mum or whoever she's talking about had it really hard or had a hard time in life. And so she's making me aware that you're doing a great job. So I don't know if the generation before you had a hard time, like your mum or your dad or whatever, growing, treating, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know where she's going with that. She's making me feel that. And so she's talking about you doing a great job. Um, and I don't know whether your ambitions in life have stopped because she's talking about you having ambitions. I don't know whether your ambitions have stopped because you've got the four children, but she's saying still carry on because you can still do it having the children, right? You can still do what you want to do. That's what she's talking about. She's still talking. She's talking about you still carrying on, still doing what you can do. You can still do what you want to do. Um, and she is talking about you having some sort of life. Your mum had a hard time, yeah. But she's talking, also talking about you. Um, she's talking about you having some some time, some downtime for yourself. Have some downtime for yourself. Um, because you can easily get lost in life, she's saying, and she's saying, I, sh I feel like this is she, she, that's where she was. She got lost in that. She got lost in that, looking after everyone and worrying about everyone all the time and forgetting herself. And she doesn't want that for you. She doesn't want that for you at all. Um, she's showing me a star like a shining star. I don't know what that means, but there must be a meaning to that for you. She's showing me a shining star and she's showing me the number three. So the third of a month, like March or the third of a month um, or the number three has a meaning, but three does have a meaning, 100%. And she's also talking about January having a significance to you or her or someone in your family or around you. January. Something happened in January, an anniversary, a birthday, a passing. There's a there's a significance to January. There's a significance to January. Also, I don't know if you're you're you've fallen out with somebody recently. Um I don't know whether you've fallen out with somebody recently. But she's saying just calm down don't 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 beat yourself up about it and really think about what you're stressing about she's saying Amanda this is what she's saying really think about what you're stressing about sometimes you, we can stress over nothing that's what she's saying um I'm gonna leave her love with you because there are other people that would like a reading 
Um, hopefully this resonates with you. I'm grateful that you come forward and uh, wanted a message. Um, and we'll go from there. Okay? Thank you. Who would like a message? Angie, I'm okay. It's my dad. Thanks, Doc. Uh, did the other lady, um, Deborah, or she's put she's not sure. It's definitely that man was definitely for you, Deborah. Definitely for you. I'd fallen out with my father. She, yeah, she's saying she was saying that uh, Amanda. She's saying that sometimes we can stress too much. Um, sometimes we can stress too much. It just, just yeah. Just try not to stress too much. Sometimes it's over nothing. Um, the other lady, I'm not too sure if she could take the messages. Um, it doesn't mean that I was wrong in connecting, because I was definitely connecting with somebody, some, so, the man, 100%. Um, if she can't accept that, that's fine. You've got to remember, it's really, really super hard to to communicate with somebody that I can't see and like I don't hear from. It's really, really hard for that. So I definitely connect with people, with spirit, because I do this all the time. I'm always connecting with them. And and 90%, 90 I'm not going to say 100%, because that would be foolish of me, but 90% of my readings are really, really accurate. And, and, and like the information I can pull out for people is amazing. And I know that I'm not ego or anything and saying, oh, but yeah. Um, would love a read and how you've been, been dreaming a lot of past loved ones. Okay, Melinda. Um, people, please bear with me. Veronica, I can see you messaging me, girl. I'm going to get to you. Michael, can you please give Kathy McFarlane a message, please? Okay. I'm going to, tonight, this is the first one in quite a while. So I just want to take my time. I don't want to feel pressured. Please bear with me, guys. I'm going to be doing this a lot more now. Because I love it. So I'm going to be doing this a lot more now. And we can all get together. And we can all join in. And I'll give everyone a reading eventually. And it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. It's going to cost you nothing. Because I'm going to do this out of the kindness of my heart. Alright? So, please bear with me. But tonight I'm going to go with who I feel drawn to. Alright? If you would like a reading in, 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 in the future, or if I don't pick you out tonight, doesn't mean that I'm not going to pick you. just means that tonight I just want to take it easy. Um... I just want to have a look. Amanda Lanaville, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. Darlene Stewart, I hope you're well. Um, I'm going to get to everybody. Um, would love one, please. Cockrum. Uh, Kathy McFarley, right. Kathy McFarlane. Is that who we were talking about anyway? Yeah, Kathy McFarlane. I'm going to go with her. Kathy McFarlane. Are you there, Kathy? Is Kathy there? Doesn't seem like anyone can go live tonight. Which is a shame because life is so much better. Yep, it's me. All right, just bear with me, man. Bear with me, bear with me. Yeah, I know it doesn't seem to be working, does it? Um. So, Kathy. Okay, let me try and tune into Kathy for a minute. Um, Kathy McFarlane. Okay. 
Okay. Would it be would it be a male energy that you're looking for, Kathy? Is it, would it be a man that you're looking for to come through? Because there's a, there's a man here for you. And I feel like there's two men, if I'm honest. And I'm hearing yes in my ear. There's definitely a male energy here. There's quite a few, actually, if I'm honest, Kathy. But who's coming through the most isn't... There, there seems to be two male energies and one of them is a younger man I wouldn't put him young young like in his 20s or 30s my dad there's a, there's a younger man here um, or I wouldn't put him younger but he passed at a younger age like in his 50s or 40s or 50s That's that's something I am aware of would that be your father there? Or if that's not, that's fine. Because there's two men here. And he's one of them's got a really strong character, really strong personality. You, you can feel his energy is really strong. You understand that, Kathy? You understand about the... Uh, the man that passed in his 40s or 50s? It's okay if not, but there is a man here for that. Who? who... Okay. Um, you understand the name the the name George, Kathy. You understand the name George, or something that sounds very similar to that, George. Yes, the only one would be my dad. One would be yeah, Kathy. That's fine. That's fine, but there are two men here that, that are with you, for you. Now, that could be his father too, right? He could be here, your father could be here, but also his father could be here. My husband's still alive. No, that's fine. That's fine. Did your... F I'm going to go with what I feel, and then you can express yourself to me afterwards. That's just the best way. Instead of him waiting for the laggy messages... Um, his name is George. There you go. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, is, is George your father then? Is George your father? Kathy, is George your father? And and he's like really, really happy that we're communicating. That's what he is. He's really happy that we're communicating. And he's quite frustrated, really. He's quite frustrated. No husband. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So it could be his father that's also with here for you. There's there's two males here. Could be your dad and his dad. I'm not saying it is, but there's two males here. Well, sort of X. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. But there's two males here for you. And one of them is really, really excited to to see you. He's, uh, sorry, I'm lying. I shouldn't do that. One of them is really, really excited that I can hear him. And I'm communicating with you. And he's telling me that he's really frustrated with some of the decisions that are made. So I don't know whether they're your decisions or his decisions. And it's almost like I feel like I should be telling you off. That's what he's making me feel like. It's almost like he feels like... He's almost making me, he's making, he's like coming through me. I feel like I should be telling you off or somebody that's close to you, like, like a child or, or one of your children or whatever, but someone's doing something or being a certain way or being silly or whatever. I'm not too sure, but I feel like I should be telling you off or telling them off, right? That's how he's making me come across, but he's really excited that would be dad. Yeah, he's, he's really excited that I can hear him. Um, um, I don't know whether it's his dad that's with him, um, but he's showing me, I don't know why. Like I said, he, they show me little bits of information, so I'm going to give you it, and then we have to puzzle it up. Uh, Martha, hi. Um, he's showing me a, a pedal bike, but it's a really, really old-fashioned one. 
So I don't know whether he used to have a certain one, or they used to sell them or make them, or whatever, but he's showing me a really old-fashioned pedal bike, right? So that would be, uh, yeah, I don't know. They show me a really old-fashioned pedal bike. So either he used to make them, he used to have one, or it was his favourite one, or whatever. Or sell them, whatever. He's showing me that. Also, he's showing me a flower as well. And it's like, um, it's got like white petals. It's got like white petals and a yellow inside, or whatever. It could be a tulip, or I don't know the flowers. But he's showing me a white flower, and it's beautiful. So the white flower has a meaning for you. Either you like them or you're growing them or whatever. Yes. Also, is it you that smells beautiful with the perfume? Or would that be your mother in passed over or your grandmother that smells nice perfumey? Or do you like your perfumes? Because I can smell the perfume and it's like a really fruity, powerful, beautiful smell. It's a beautiful smell. And then they're making me smell fresh linen like fresh washed linen that's what they're making me smell so i don't know whether that was like mum's house or your house or whatever but i can oh my god yes me yes that's what they're making me smell the fresh linen and the power first of all i could smell that powerful f fruity perfume which is beautiful and then they made me smell the fresh bed the, the fresh bed the fresh linen that's what they made me smell. They're making me aware of the car. I don't know if you've been having issues with your car or or someone passed away in a car or whatever, but they're showing me the car. They're showing me a car. And I, I really feel like there's some issues with a car. I don't feel like there was an accident. I shouldn't have said that. But I feel like there was some issues. Sorry, too much. What do you mean, too, sorry, too much? Did I say something too much or? There's some issues with, with Dom, how you doing? Um, there were some issues with a car. They're showing me the car and I really feel like there's some issues with it. So I don't know whether one broke down or, or you've had to pay out a load of money for it or, or they, but they, they're making me aware of the car. Um, oh, the perfume. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, they're making me aware of the car. Um, also, I don't know whether you're aware of the, the, they used to have the dogs, or you've got the dogs, and I don't know whether they were like the greyhound, remember like, do you know, not remember, do you know the greyhound dogs, they're like really skinny and they, they run off the little thing and you, you can go, just had to get repairs on my car. Yeah, that's what they were showing me, the car, and they're making me feel about the it, it needing repairing or fixing. They're saying, talking about not spending too much money on it, though. That's what they're telling me. Don't spend too much money on it. I don't know whether they were like a stifler for not spending too much money on stuff, or you've got a really old car that just, that just don't want to spend too much money on it. But, yeah, they're saying, talking about the car... Um, they're also talking about the dogs. I I feel like I might be wrong, but I, I'm sure that like there's two of them, and they're like greyhound dogs, like the running dogs. I might be off with the with the uh, breed of dog, but there's two of them. You understand that? How you doing, Reagan? Too late already did spend too much money. Oh, well, that's what they might be going on about then. Don't spend too much money on it then. Yeah. What about the dogs? You understand about the dogs? Also, there's something to do with... Um, how you doing, Reagan? Also, there's something to do with the spiritual side of things, Kathy. So I don't know whether you're... I don't know... Thank you, Melinda. I don't know, Kathy, whether you're into the spiritual thing or you've thought about dabbling in it or oh you've got two huskies one has passed away oh oh so the breed of dog i might have got wrong and i do apologize about that sometimes i i, I get loads of messages all the time so it's hard to decipher the exactly but I, I was aware of the two dogs okay so the two huskies okay um what I am going to do 
is get a little message for you, Kathy, from them. And then we're going to let you leave it be because there's going to be other people that want messages. Um, um, so... Uh, Kathy, they're, they're making me aware of your health. Um, they're talking about you eating the right foods. If you're not eating the right foods, start introducing some vegetables or some healthier foods into your diet. Um, they're really, really keen on you starting to do that. There's no worries, they're saying, but there, there's you might get some bits and bobs that will start coming up like health issues and stuff, if you're not careful. So they're talking about implementing vitamins or whatever, a healthier diet. They're making you aware of that. They're clapping their hands as well, so I know this is true. Um, they send their love with you, and they're talking about the spiritual side to you. If you're not aware of it, maybe just start speaking to them. They are there. They're always there. Um, they're talking about you getting really upset and down recently about something or someone. They're there with you holding you up, right? They want you to know that. I'm going to leave their love with you and thank you so much. <sighs> oh, they're right, eh? Badly. Yeah, they're, they're, they're talking about you implementing some healthier foods, vegetables, etc., vitamins. They're making me aware of that, okay? Um, that's a great reading. Thank you, Michael, for reading. Kathy is a good friend. All right, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. How is everyone doing? How's everyone doing? I hope you're all well. I'm loving this. I love doing this. So uh, who would love a reading, guys? Who would love a reading? That was awesome. Thank you, Kathy. I enjoyed doing it, man. So. And the spirit love coming to me, so. Never judge a book by its cover. Ever. Oh, Phyllis, how you doing? Martha, how are you? Amanda Cockrum. Amanda Cockrum, I'm going to give you a reading, though. Amanda Cockrum. Uh, Amanda Cockrum. If I've spelt your name wrong, please apologize. I apologize. Amanda Cockrum. Give me a minute. Um, give me a minute, Amanda Cockrum, because I am tuning in to your loved ones. Um, what I am aware, I feel like I'm aware, Amanda. Okay, brilliant. Um, I don't know whether you're going through some issues right now, Amanda, where you're feeling really low and depressed, or there's a lot of self-doubt. Or you're just worried about meeting someone or you're not getting on with someone. There's something there for you. I feel it. My guides tell me, without even connecting with your loved ones, my guides are telling me that for you. And have you have you got a little baby? Have you got a little child, Amanda? I see a little child with you. And I'm really cold on my head, so I know it's true, man. Have you lost a child, Amanda? I'm excited for that. Have you lost a child, Amanda? I see a little child. Now, I don't know whether this little child's still living or past. So, please forgive me. Don't bloody have an heart attack over there and go... <gasps> I'm just asking, because I see a little child... I had a miscarriage. Because there's a child they're making me yeah, they're making me aware of. Um there's a child. You have a really weird I have a really weird connection with you. 
Um, Amanda, I have a really weird connection with you. Please bear with me. It's almost like they're hesitant to come forward for you. And that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong. So please don't take it like that. Please don't take, oh no, they're not coming forward for me. What's happening? Oh, 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 I'm not good enough. And all. Don't bloody be like that. Go on out loud. Just let me do my thing and let me, they're, they're, they're really hesitant to come forward for you. And I'm not sure why. But that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. That doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Were your family really, 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 really strict, Amanda? Were they really, really straight? Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. You shouldn't have told me that, Amanda. You should not have told me that, because if he wants to come through, he'll come through. Don't, don't, don't start feeding me information about anybody. Okay, that's not how I work. I don't like that stuff. I know you. I know you're trying to say, look, I'm reaching out to him and stuff, but that just isn't for me, because people can lead on to stuff like that and say, oh yeah, I've got it, I've got it. I'm not about that. I'll pick out. I'll if 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 a loved one comes to me, I will tell you who it is. I'm not gonna be fed information. Okay. Okay, so. They're really, really strict. And what... So, I have a couple here with me. I have a couple here with me. Um, and they're of the older generation. So that's either mum and dad, nan and grandpa, right? But these people, these beings, I feel are really, really, really funny with who they communicate with. I feel like they will they will like that when they were here on earth living. I feel like they're a little bit hesitant to come to me. Um I'm not gonna go into why because that's none of your business. But they're really, really hesitant to come to me. Wink wink. They're really straight and so they're really funny with who they communicate with. And that's something that I don't normally get. Normally spirit come to me and they go, oh yes, you can hear, you can hear me and that's great and we love you and please send a message to my loved ones where these are a little bit more, oh, we don't know whether we want to go to this person. Do you understand that? And that I'm not a bad, I'm not a bad person. I'm a really lovely, caring person. But we all make mistakes in life and sometimes, yeah, they're a little bit hesitant about coming to me, that's all. I'm not a bad person, I'm a great person. I'm a loving person. Mm. But I've, I've made mistakes in my life and I think they're a little bit hesitant because of that. And they're the first people that have ever done it to me. Um, yeah, that's it. Really, really strict people. That's what I'm getting from it. That's what I'm getting from it. Um... That's what I'm getting from it. I, I'm, I don't feel like I can connect with them, if I'm honest. So, and that's a first. Normally they come through every time. Please let me try. Was, can, can I ask, can I ask Amanda, did your friend pass from a suicide? Because I really feel like there's someone here, unless this is a negative energy or a dark, darker source that's trying to manipulate my mind, I just heard suicide. If you can't take that, that's fine. But if you pass, the, if you pass from a suicide, then... then And and the name, they fought suicide, drug overdose. And and does does this man have it, the letter J as his first initial, like James, Jimmy. That name, like the J name as a man, 
or, or does that have a surrounding name? Does, 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 would that name surround you somewhere for a man? The letter J, like the James, Jimmy, that type of name. Or would that be his? And I'm also hearing the the name Dean. Dean. D-E-A-N. Dean. Would that name mean a meaning to you? If it's not, that's fine. Then, then I'm going to have to cut the reading off, sadly. Um, maybe I'll speak to you privately. John was my dad. He passed. Oh. Okay. Okay, John. So the letter J as a man. Okay, that's brilliant. John was your dad. He passed. There you go. Got ya. Yeah, I know, but I'm not reading you, Carrie, Mar Carrie May. Um, if I'm honest, Amanda, um, I'm gonna I'll, I'll message you privately or message me privately, and we'll speak, okay? Because I don't feel like it should be done live, if anything, okay? Um. Yeah, it's gone a bit weird, if I'm honest. It's a bit of a weird atmosphere in here now. Please bear with me. Um, what I am going to do, um, I'm going to have to cut this off now, guys. Uh, it's gone a bit weird in here tonight. I don't know what's happened. I hope you've all enjoyed the readings. Um, I'll be on in the next couple of days. Um, Amanda, no, don't be anxious, Amanda, don't be anxious, it could just be that they're a little bit low vibrational at the moment, yeah, or they're, or they're private people, it's not on it, don't, don't make, the, it's not going to be something out of the ordinary, it's just sometimes, they're, sometimes, they're, um, like, they're, they're like, sometimes they're private people, or they just don't want their stuff read over the, over the internet like this, it's nothing, nothing, don't don't take it like that, please. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed the reading. Um, I would have carried on more, but my charger is in the other room, and I've only got two percent, and I didn't realise I thought it was here. So I'm going to cut it off tonight. Um, please tune in next time. I'll let you know when I'm next on. It'll be in the next couple of days. I promise you. I love you all. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in a couple of days. See you later.